So first up, we're just cleaning of all the impurities, Dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I just boil it and throw the three dough. Mm -hmm. So this is the first crucial step to um, making adobo. First, you have to boil it in some water, and that's really just to take out all the impurities. Um, so again, it's all about the cleanliness. Um, take any, you know, gristle out of the meat. And of course, to make it soft before you put in the vinegar. So that's really a crucial step. You don't want to, you know, add vinegar at a very early stage because that will tend to toughen the meat. So boiling it really helps make it tender and it serves the double purpose of um, cleaning. All right, so the pork belly adobo has been boiling for about, let's say about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And now we have some bay leaf in here and that's one of the more important ingredients it tends to be overlooked i guess you could say but it's absolutely vital to a really good adobo and we have cloves of garlic in here as well and um i guess you can boil this away for about 45 minutes it depends on the cut but this is a really thick cut of pork belly so if you look very closely there's a big layer of skin there and then a big layer of fat and a nice part of juicy lean meat underneath which is more like a semi lean meat I guess you could say so again really you don't want to add vinegar at this stage because once again you're softening the meat Here's our chef, hard at work. He's making two recipes, not just adobo, but he's also making bitter melon salad or bitter melon leaf salad. So he's just dicing up some tomato. And there's our bitter melon leaves. Now, typically when you think of bitter melon, you're thinking about the bitter melon gourd, but then they also have these leaves which act which lend a bigger punch of bitterness than the gourd itself. So this will contrast really well with our adobo. It'll cut into the richness of the soy sauce and the pork and then add a little bit of a very fresh bitterness. So, you know, kind of give you an idea. It kind of will remind you, if you like drinking India Pale Ale, uh, it's just imagine all the bitterness except the, you know, take with the maltiness taken out. So dad, we're going to cook this uh, bitter melon leaf yeah. in a bit. Just boil it. You just boil it? Yeah. Blanch. Hmm. And how long do we blanch the bitter melon leaves for? Maybe five minutes. Five minutes? Or three minutes. Or three minutes. Okay. Well, Dad tends to do everything by ear, so I mean, you know, like the best of home cooks, they don't really have a sort of, you know, unified recipe. You just like, you know, cut by ear. Do, do it by ear. So this is gonna, this is just basic ingredients for our bitter melon sa leaf salad, which is bitter melon leaves, otherwise known as paria. And then we have some tomato and some red onions been diced up. And I think that's really for the adobo, for all that garlic. Because all you need is just tomato, red onion, bitter melon leaves. And then the other thing is you would need either fish sauce or shrimp paste or bagoong. Uh, tends to be better with bagoong. So here's a part of the video that you don't really see when you're cooking. I mean, that's just, you know, chilling out because he just added, he just added the soy sauce and... Did you put vinegar in here already? Yeah. Okay. So one vital step here. So once you boiled it down to an hour, you put in your aromatics at about the 30 minute mark. 
with the bay leaf and the garlic. You want to add your soy sauce and your vinegar after that. So once it's nice and tender and has been infused with the bay leaf and garlic, that's when you want to add your um, soy sauce and vinegar. Um, so that way the vinegar doesn't toughen the meat at all. So it will be nice and soft. And that looks really unctuous. Look at, again, look at all the fat to meat ratio and skin on top. Now I don't know if we can make fried rice out of this because the really the best part is once this kind of this sauce reduces a bit is you can um, make fried rice out of the and it's just ah wonderful okay And dad says that the adobo is done. So, once again, if you've been following along, and I know, like, you know, I haven't put down recipe details yet because, you know, dad, like any other, you know, home cook, just, you know, does it by ear. So after, let me see, let's check out the time. An hour and a half to two hours, you get this wonderful adobo. It's all fully cooked, and once you know it, it's like when it's reduced to that level. There's still a little bit of sauce in there. And because my timing is really unfortunate as always, Dad has already blanched the bitter melon leaves. It only takes about 30 seconds, just about. So, this has already been blanched and ready to be sorted with the tomato, the onion, and the ogong. Well, not as unfortunate as I thought. There's Dad blanching the... Once it's been blanched for about 30 seconds, you get this nice emerald green or jade green color out of the bitter, bitter greens. Leaves. I'm sorry? Bitter melon leaves. Yeah. Or probably, yeah. Um, I think that in... Let me see. Certain parts of the world, and I'm thinking of Okinawa, Japan, they make beer instead of hops they use as a bittering agent bitter melon you might even use the leaves as a bittering agent so just to give you an idea if you've never had it it's just going to taste like a very fresh salad with a very bitter edge uh so if you're used to india pale ales you might get shocked by the bitterness of the greens because there's no multi backbone of course to this at all go Oh. <laughs> um, Dad is like Michigan J Frog. I mean, he was trying. He was singing before I actually um, turned on the camera. So now he's gone shy again. So after separating all the water from the bitter melon leaves, you can add the tomato, and the onion. It's already been mixed with the uh, bagong or shrimp paste. Mm. Maybe you can turn off the adobo, JP. Mm -hmm. 
you can plate it now. Hmm? Hmm. And that's the finished adobo. It has a little more um, sabao or broth in there, so it's not entirely dry. Um, Usually if you want this to reduce even further you can and so once you do you can reduce it with some added garlic Some minced garlic and so the hope is once you've plated it You'll have all the nice brown bits on the bottom that you can make fried rice out of um, Dad typically does that um, But you know, this is also a really good uh, Portion as well. I think we'll do a recipe video on that uh one later when you make adobo fried rice but for now this is the finished product it only just took two hours less than two hours just about and again very minimal supervision in making this adobo so all you have to do is just make sure you don't put the vinegar in right away don't put the soy sauce in right away just like about an hour once you've cleaned through the impurities and then you put in your garlic and your bay leaf and then you put in your soy sauce and your vinegar as the third phase. That's all you really need to do to make a really good adobo. And of course I'll taste this out for you. Okay, time to try out Dad's adobo here. Got a nice luscious cut with the pork belly on some rice, which is very much needed. Hmm. It's a little more vinegary than I remember it. <laughs> but it's good. Um, and given like it only took about less than two hours to cook, that pork belly reduces nicely and it's very nice soft gelatinous. Um, belly fats and skin and some texture and then one a piece of lean meat you really have a pronounced vinegar garlic bay leaf flavor and then um, the head of the soy rich of the richness of the soy sauce mm. this is really good i think usually i like my adobo a little dry but i think this will benefit more by getting a little more sauce <laughs> Now I try this bitter melon leaf salad, which is going to be in sharp contrast. I mean, not just in color, but also in taste to the pork belly adobo. And the bitterness is, you really taste a very healthy green sort of taste that's not overly bitter. Um, at least from my liking, it's not overly bitter and like punch you in the mouth type of bitter. But if you're going to try this for the first time, uh, it will punch you in the mouth, I guess you could say. But it's mitigated a bit by the saltiness of the bagong. I think that's what's really getting that bitterness out of the way. Or, um, toning it down. And of course, they have some tomato and some onion to add some sweetness as well. The more you contrast it with the tomato and the onion from the sweetness of that, brings out more of the bitterness. Releases more of the bitterness from the bitter leaves of the paria. So what I'd like to do in general is... Mix the two. Now, you get pork with some bitter greens. 
And I think it's a travesty if you don't put any rice on there. Okay, got it all in the spoon. Piece, piece of fat belly meat with some bitter melon leaves and some rice. And really when you put it all together, it really complements well. You have the unctuous rich pork. It has a vinegary, garlicky emphasis. And then it mashes really well with the bitterness from the bitter melon leaves. So, usually... Usually for me, if you eat this much pork, especially with this fat, it, you'll get tired of eating it. But then if you pair it with this bitter melon leaf, you can keep going and eating more of that pork. And so to wrap up this video, especially the first in this cooking series with Dad, what are we going to call this old man? Are we going to call this Lolo Lito's Pinoy Kitchen? Or something like that, this series? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. So... Because, of course, we're in coronavirus isolation and, you know, um, what they call, what do they call it now? General community quarantine or whatever it is. This is how we're passing the time, is with this cooking series. So I don't know what we're cooking tomorrow, old man, but, you know, maybe some more pork dishes for everybody to learn. All right. Igado. We're going to do Igado? Okay. And we're going to do Igado next, I think. That's the next video for tomorrow so if you like this video i mean please spread the word i mean you know we spent a pretty penny on all this meat apparently like what five us dollars is too expensive around here okay whatever it is help us out people i mean there are people starving out in here in the world and it might be us too so with that in mind I'll see you on the next video and bye for now and another and come check out another cooking video with Lolito's Pinoy Kitchen. I don't know if that's what the... What's the working title for now? Bye for now.